Welcome to another free e-learning tutorial from dacanane.com. Today we're going to look at coding. So we're going to add some images I've already created to the stage. So we're going to click on the images here in the library and click on upload. Search through for a picture. And we're going to use this in our scene today that we're going to make our character that we added last time run along. So I'm just going to click on this picture and upload it and let it upload. And when it finally uploads, I can drag it onto the stage. And just like last time, we can modify this um, object. So this road here is in the wrong orientation. So I'm going to scale it up using the drag tool here. I'm going to turn the orientation so it's um, in the, on the right plane for the surface that I want to work on. So I'm using the rotate tools here. And I'm just going to keep moving my object around until it's in the orientation and the scale that I want by using the uh, selection of the um, scale tool here just by clicking and dragging and moving around as you can see and making things just fit the way I want. With the road in the right orientation, I'm gonna right click and click attach and click on the blue dot on the top surface to attach the road to the top plane here. Again, using the tools, I'm gonna to rotate it round and I can't see the menu, so I'm going to zoom out slightly so I can use these menu tools here to make the object the size and orientation that I want it to be. And again, I can use the orientation tools here again to drag it on the planes. So I want, I want this to be on the edge, the back edge of the cube, and that looks about right. So when I'm happy with that, I can just click off and I can zoom in. And now it's time to start adding some code to this. I've just created my scene. So I'm going to click on the code in the top right corner here. And then we're going to click on the full screen option. It's worth spending some time looking at the blocks here, but we're going to look at these merge cube specific blocks here and we're going to make the cube itself um, disappear. We're gonna set the opacity to zero and then test it and see what that looks like. So we'll just close this, then we'll click on play. And you can see that our object boy is running on the spot without the cube. Now we're gonna change all of this now. So we're going to add or right click here on the menu and we're going to click on the code block and we're going to actually make this boy appear in the code block so we can actually do something with it. You can see here I've also clicked on the label and when you've got many objects it's a good idea to know which um, object you're working with. So again, to disappear, you just untick that. But it's good to have that on while you're still working but don't forget to turn off when you're using it. Right, so now we're going to do um, make our runner run a distance. So now we drag this blue block out and you can see we've got our name of our object in here. Um, so that's going to make him actually move rather than run on the spot. So I've set the distance of five meters and we can set a time here. And again, let's just close this and click play and watch him move. So the animation is if he's moving, it's not very, it looks like he's slipping, more like a moon dance. So we need to change this and he hasn't run very far, but it's a good way of gauging how far our road is. So let's come back to the code blocks and edit this, let's make this 10 meters, and we will stick with um, in, in the same time, I think. Yeah, that should do, so it's in effect halving the time by doubling the distance. Click play, and you can see we can move around. So this is what it'll look like when we're orienting around the cube when we actually publish it. Um, it hasn't quite made it to the end of the road, so our distance is not quite right. So let's close this, and then, um, click on the code blocks again and just edit. So it's a question of just going backwards and forwards and tinkering with the um, distances to get it right. Now, what we're gonna do here is we want him to turn around. We want him to run backwards and forwards down the road. So click on this uh, turn through 180 degree block and we want him to do this all the time. So we're gonna click on the forever block and drag that out. And we can just snap these together. So bring the other blocks down so it sits inside the forever block and we're going to see how this works now. So if you look at this, it's gonna, the cube's gonna disappear forever, run 10 meters, uh, turn 180 degrees, and to go back to the other end of the road again. Let's see what happens. So close this, click on play. There he goes. Now while this is all happening, we can just keep moving backwards and forwards um, and check our orientation. So we've now managed to get from an object that was running on the spot to an object that's running around another object that we've um, introduced to the merge cube space. 
Well that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we will continue on this Merge Cube series as we keep diving into what the capabilities of this um, tool are. But if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and until the next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.